Well, hello and welcome to this week's edition of What's Up Danville. I'm your host, Mark Aaron, Multimedia Design Manager for the City of Danville. And my guest this week is Lynette Anderson, who's a Special Events Coordinator for Parks and Recreation. And on this week's show, we're talking about a lot of great events that are going to be coming up in just the next couple of weeks here in the city. We're kicking it off uh, this week's show talking about the Imagine Children's Festival. And for our citizens here in the City of Danville, You've probably been to this festival because it has been around now how many years, Lynette? It's been six years so six far. Six years, well, yeah. and, it, and it keeps getting bigger and better every year. And um, I know you're going to enjoy this year's festival. It's going to take place on October the 10th down at the Carrington Pavilion. And Lynette, I know we got a lot of new things that are happening this year. I was just looking down at the rundown of the list of things that are going to be there. A lot of new things for, but there'll also be your staple fun rides, your food, and all of that. But right. I, I do want to spend a lot of time talking about these new activities because it's some uh, very interesting things and the first one being a, a history mobile right. now, can you tell me a little bit about uh, how our children are going to be able to learn a little bit about uh, Virginia's history through this mobile right so we'll have the Virginia history mobile coming out of Richmond um, it is a 53 foot trailer that's got museum quality exhibits inside so you'll be able to go inside and actually walk around um, and see all the great history um, this one is specifically Civil War history so okay, cool. it talks all about Virginia's part in the Civil of war um, and it's got great exhibits hands-on exhibits and there'll be folks from Richmond that will man the trailer as well so if you have any questions um, come on out and I know that there are lots of history buffs in Danville sure. so definitely bring your kids out to see it because it's gonna be really great and this will be like uh, Lynette said a great hands-on experience you know, you know the kids read about it in textbooks and mm -hmm. things but it's a, a totally different ball game when they get to come out and and get to see it up close and personal right you really can and they have a couple of the exhibits inside that like make noises so like they sound like you're actually on the battlefield and you oh. can hear the generals in the background so it's really kind of cool okay now great now we didn't mention times for the festival the festival will run all day tell me the the times for the entire festival the entire festival runs from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. okay now these special mobiles and things now they have separate times now tell me they'll be will that be running all day as well yeah they will actually be open all day okay, so perfect. the uh, history mobile will be open from 10 till 4 okay great so come on out and enjoy some great uh, learning about some great Civil War history and as Lynette said a, a great hands-on exhibit and this is the first time we've had something like yeah, this right? This is the very first time um, that we've had anything like this and it's pretty rare for it to come here um, so they travel all across the state they've been traveling ever since last year going to different places in Virginia so different fairs and festivals so it's really a treat to have them here in Danville. Well, come out and support that like Lynette said uh, the first time it's been at the Children's Festival and I know it's going to be a big hit so come on out and enjoy that and then uh, we're going to have an agricultural mobile lab so tell me a little bit about that you know agriculture is huge here in southern Virginia so I know our kids are a lot of them maybe growing up on farms have families who worked on farms so tell me a little bit about this yeah we do have a couple of different ones the first one that we have is the um, computer mobile lab that's coming from Virginia State University out of Petersburg okay. so we're excited to have them so that's cool. again another huge trailer tractor trailer that kids can go into hands-on um, activities with dealing with agricultural um, so you can go in and see that cool awesome very good and then there's going to be a dairy demo. Now, I've never heard of this before, but it sounds interesting. Yeah, we have the Southland Dairy Farmers. They're going to come, and they're bringing a live cow. So the kids oh. will be able to watch um, a milking cow process and learn about the process of where their milk comes from. Well, that's cool. So <laughs> I guess they'll have a different appreciation for when they uh, go to, I guess, eat their cereal before school. <laughs> right, <laughs> so they'll either love it or really just not yeah. be turned off from milk altogether. So cool. we'll see. <laughs> Very good. Now, all this will be taking place in the pavilion area? Right. All this will be in the pavilion um, we've got a huge layout in the pavilion so um, you can't miss the mobiles you're not going to be able to miss the cow um, yeah. so we've got everything laid out so just definitely come down now the dairy demos now those are some different times right that's gonna be 11 to noon and then two to three that day right yeah they are two di four different times because you know we have to give our cow a yeah, little bit of break right. in between yeah. so yeah okay very good so that'll be at 11 and noon and then again at two and three for the dairy demos and, yeah. and that's something right I, I've never seen that before so I'm looking forward to yeah. seeing how that works it should be pretty cool <laughs> it should be really cool and will they get actually be able to do hands actually milk the cow no, or they won't be able to touch it but okay. they'll be able to watch to uh how, yeah watch the teacher works. and see how it works okay very good now I know um, this is something different we're always talking about getting fit here in the Dan River region we're gonna have Jason Bookheimer talking about the glow with the flow which will be the following weekend and um, I know there's gonna be some yoga classes for kids 
that are going to take place that day? Yeah, Hot Asana is going to come out and bring a couple of teachers, and we're going to do just some basic, um, just basic what yoga is, um, talk a little bit about how it helps the body, stretching, and what it's good for. Um, so we'll have some demos around 1130 for the kids to come out. So if you're interested or your kids are interested, definitely come out and talk to the teachers and see what they have to offer. And I know they have kids' classes as well. Yeah, so. and they're located right on Bridge Street in the heart of the River District, aren't yep, they? right yeah. downtown. Cool, very good. And then I know on the main stage you're going to have something very special involving puppets, right? Right. We're going to have the Paper Hand uh, Puppet Intervention that's coming from Graham, North Carolina. Cool. Um, they're these huge, gigantic, handmade paper puppets um, that people get inside and manipulate. So oh. they're really cool. Um, definitely check out their website. Um, go to our Facebook page because we have all kinds of links to them. Yeah. Um, so they're really, really cool. So they're going to be doing an actual performance. Um, then they're going to parade around inside of the pavilion and the kids will be able to interact with them as well. Awesome. Well, Annette did mention their Facebook page. You can log on to playdanvilleva.com to get um, information about it. And I, the, I guess the best part about this whole festival is the price, right? Right. Everything is free. All of our mobile, um, the mobile dairy cow, the history mobile, the VSU lab, all of it's free. Um, we, the rides are free. The only That's thing right. that we um, that are charged for are the um, the concessions as well as the vendors. So we'll have some vendors out there selling some children's items. Okay, cool. Now I know uh, the Danville Fire Department has always been involved in the Children's Festival and that's going to be no different this year, right? Right, no different. They'll bring the smokehouse out um, so the kids can come in and get a little uh, smoke safety and fire prevention safety as well. Yeah. And that's great because October uh, falls right into fire prevention month, so I know their public safety uh, aspect of the fire department is out in full force during October talking. I think smoke alarms is the uh, the um, message for this year, so they'll be talking about uh, having smoke alarms installed in your home, and then, of course, the fire safety house is always a big hit with the kids. Yeah, it definitely is. And then I also noticed, uh, this may be something new, maybe not, but remote control cars. Is this something different? Oh, no, we've had them before. We okay. had them last year, so those right. are the um, actual stationary uh, steering wheels okay. where the cars go around the track that the okay. kids can uh, play with. Okay, yeah, I do remember that. So you just kind of, and they have a steering wheel there, it's like four or five, and you can yeah. race your friends around yeah. the track. Okay, cool, I do remember that. Yeah. All right, and then um, I know Marlo the Magician is always there. You got stilt walkers. It's got a lot of different things going on throughout the pavilion area. So as you walk around, there's always something exciting, right? Right, yeah. Um, we'll have our sponsors are out always um, doing hands on activities for kids. We'll have um, our other other community agencies out doing hands-on activities for kids um, and that's our big push um, if you come and down to join us we want you to have a fun free day of activities yeah. And I know like face painting is available. Mm -hmm. The kids always love that. I know Parks and Recreation has little games and activities that they can play. Mm -hmm. um, and then also I think Home Depot is doing a demo as well. Right. They'll have their sandbox out and they're going to be doing the kids workshop as well. Um, oh, cool. So yeah, they'll all be out there. We'll have the Junior Wednesday Club. They always help us with volunteers. They're always so gracious to bring at least 30 or so girls. Yeah. So the Junior Wednesday Club will be helping us um, that day and they will actually be doing face painting as well. And I know it's always... Uh, uh, um, a great atmosphere, but you couldn't do it without your sponsors. And I know you got a lot of great sponsors that are helping you do this this year. Right, so we definitely want to thank all of our sponsors. We want to thank URW, J and J Truck Sales, Severin Trent, and the Grill. Okay, very good. And again, we've been doing this for six years now, and uh, this is uh, really the kickoff to the River District Festival because the festival is going to run two weekends this year in uh, October the 10th down at the Carrington Pavilion. It's the Imagine Children's Festival, and it's always a great time for kids. I know we didn't mention was uh, there's going to be a catfish display or something like that? <laughs> yeah, uh, we have through Parks and Recreation, we have a program that's called Catfish in the Classroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Bert is going to come and bring his catfish in the classroom out to us at the pavilion. Cool. And I know the game in Inland Fisheries, they always have a display up yeah. and, and kids can cast rods and things like that. So I know a lot of kids in the area love fishing, getting yeah. out to the outdoors, so they'll be able to do that as well, right? Yeah, they'll be out there. Um, they'll bring their boat down, so they'll do some basic boat safety as well. Okay, very so, yeah. good.
Yeah. Good. yeah, and that catfish in the classroom that Parks and Rec it does is, is really interesting. It, they actually go, there's a couple of middle schools that have the tanks in the classroom, and they raise these catfish uh, from small babies, and then they release them, I yeah. guess, at the end of the year, right? Yeah, it, and it's really um, a great way for kids to learn about the environment and learn about what's going on and how things grow. Right, and how to keep those fish healthy in the river and not pollute the river because we, we do a lot of a lot of activities along the river and cleaning up the river as well. So, well, Annette, sounds like a great day expected on October the 10th, and we want you to come out. It's from 10 to 4 p.m. at the Carrington Pavilion. It's the Imagine Children's Festival. And Annette, thanks again for all that you do each and every year for the Children's Festival, a special events coordinator, and we look forward to the event. All right, thanks. We hope to see everybody out there. All right, and we're going to take a quick break. When we come back from break, as I mentioned a little earlier in the show, we're going to talk to Jason Buchheimer, who's putting on the Glow with the Flow 5K. That's a Parks and Recreation event. It'll be the following weekend. It's going to be on Friday night, um, October the 16th. It's the only night 5K here in the city of Danville, so you want to stay tuned to learn more about how you can get involved in that event. Again, Lynette, thanks so much. You're welcome. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Well, welcome back to this week's edition of What's Up Danville. I'm your host, Mark Aaron, multimedia design manager for the city of Danville. First half of the show, we told you all about the Children's Festival to be held here in the city of Danville on October the 10th. And now we're going to take you into the next weekend, still part of the River District Festival. And this is the Glow with the Flow 5K. And joining me today is Jason Buchheimer, who is the director of Community Rec for Parks and Recreation, who puts on this wonderful event here in the city. It's the only night 5K in the city. And Jason, I know this has been going on for a couple of years, and I've ran it a couple of times, really enjoyed it. My family's run in it, and uh, as I mentioned, the only night 5K, and it's uh, really a fun time for all. It is. Uh, it's, a, it's a great event. You know, we started out kind of trying to, our slogan's running towards a brighter future, yeah. so we figured why not uh, run at night and light it up, and uh, it's been a really, really good turnout. People are really enjoying the event. And uh, we're actually on the route right now. You'll be finishing up uh, right here at the Main Street Plaza as you go up, and I think the, the finish line is right there on Main and uh, Union Street, right? It is. It starts and finishes right in front of the brick, so yeah. we, we close down the uh, streets and have that intersection blocked off. and. There's a DJ we set right in the middle of the street. Uh, this year we've got some extra additives that are gonna be pretty cool at the oh, finish sweet. line. Um, so you have to come out and see those changes. But yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's pretty fun to, to do that. And then, you know, after the race is over, you got a great after party right there in the middle of the street. And it is a fun after party. I know, uh, is DJ Bobby White coming back this year? Uh, actually, uh, Bobby was booked up this oh, year. So we've got okay. uh, uh, DJ Mike Gravely coming down. Cool. And, uh, he's also uh, does our summer movies in the park, so he's actually going to have a live feed screen uh, set up, so you'll be able to look up and see a 20-foot version of yourself coming awesome. up the street. Yeah, yeah and it is a, a great atmosphere, and I know uh, just uh, lighting the trail up, you got luminaries on portions of the trail, and then people all, all have their glow-in-the-dark attire on. They do. People come out, and they're dressed up. I mean, people put a lot of time and energy into their costumes and, and their apparel, uh, yeah. and then we also supply a lot of uh, glow necklaces, glow sticks, you know, and we have bunny ears, sunglasses, I mean, yeah. just stuff to help you kind of, you know, pack it on and then just enjoy the theme of the, the event. And I know when you get to the darker portions of the trail, I guess right there behind Woodall Nissan, that, that's probably the, the furthest point that you'll go on, on the route, but that, that, that really uh, lights up the trail with all that glow in the dark stuff. It does, and uh, this year uh, we used to use luminary bags. We're gonna use uh, chem lights uh, oh, cool. from the military, which are really nice, and kind of yeah. use those, because uh, really at night, you're pretty much just need to know where not to go yeah. and where to stay on the trail at. So. So it'll be lighting the trail. It'll be a little different and add some color to the event too. Cool, awesome. So now let's tell our viewers uh, about how they can uh, sign up for the event, the cost. Again, it will be on Friday night, uh, October 16th. It'll start around 7 o'clock. Uh, but where can I sign up and how much is it going to cost me to run? You can sign up uh, online at Play Danville VA uh, or you can call our office at 799-5150. Okay. Uh, any of those will be able to help you out. It's $20, uh, so it's really not too much to run. Um, yeah. and. Um, uh, you can just you know give us a call, sign up. We actually allow registration day of uh, for this event, so we'll be at the brick from noon until 6:30. Uh, we ask that 
We start the race right about 7.15, uh, so we asked to try not to rush into the last minute um, yeah. and come down and see us. I know the first year there was a lot of people that signed up last minute, and even last year when it rained, still had a great time, still had over 200 people racing in it, right? Yeah, we had a little over 260 people that still yeah. came out, and it was That's pouring great. down rain. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, another thing is, too, hopefully if you, you know, we have, if you sign up a week early, um, you're guaranteed yeah. your shirts and kind of race swag right. stuff, so it's always good to make sure that you get signed up. Yeah, they Parks and Rec always offers some cool swag for all their events. So, yeah, you definitely want to sign up in advance so you can take take advantage of that. Again, $20, it, and it also is a pet and stroller friendly race as well because I've seen a lot of people out with their dogs at this uh, event and some guys uh, pushing their uh, toddlers and babies in strollers as well, and ladies. Yeah, it is. It's uh, it's pretty amazing. We, we've really kind of tried to advertise that because not every event uh, is pet or stroller friendly, uh, yeah. especially for pets. Um, but it's pretty funny seeing all the dogs glowing, running down yeah. the trails too. Um, but yeah, bring your dog out, bring your stroller, kids. You know, um, you know, we even have kids sign up to want to walk with their families and stuff. Yeah. You know, so it's really a great family friendly event, um, and and people like to stay down. And the kids are dancing in the streets, and you yeah. know, it's, it, it's a great after party. I'm, my son, he's 12, and we've done it for two years, and he has a great time down there after the after the event. And uh, again, you couldn't. We talk about Parks and Rec putting on all these wonderful events, but you couldn't do it without your sponsor. I know you have a major sponsor for this event, right? We do. The um, Danville Regional Medical Center is our, our title sponsor. Mm -hmm. uh, we could not do it without them. And also Riverview Rotary and uh, The Brick is a huge uh, supporter and sponsor of our event as well. Right. Well, again, come on down. It'll be on Friday night, October the 16th, all part of the River District Festival. It's the Glow with the Flow 5K, the only night race here in the city of Danville. And as Jason mentioned, it's really a, a family-friendly atmosphere, pet and stroller-friendly race. $20 allows you to run. You need to, uh, I guess, register a week in advance so you can get that free T-shirt and all the great swag that Parks and Recreation um, offers. But go to PlayDanvilleVA.com to sign up today. So, Jason, again, thanks for joining us today, and best of luck with the race. I know it'll be a great one. Thank you, Mark. We look forward to seeing uh, everyone in the community coming out. All right. And that's going to wrap it up for this week's show, but uh, we're just scratching the surface when we talk about the River District Festival. So we want you to tune in next week when we talk about all the great things that will be going on. We talked about the Imagine Children's Festival. That kind of kickstarts the River District Festival on October the 10th. But then the following weekend, they're going to have great things on Thursday night, Jason's Race on Friday night, and then a huge concert with Tank at the Carrington Pavilion on Saturday night. So we'll learn a lot more about the River District Festival on next week's What's Up Damble. So until then, have a great day.